If you've ever dealt with a nasty stomach bug, chances are you've encountered norovirus, even if you didn't know its name. Someone coming into the ER or to see their doctor with a chief complaint of um, vomiting, nausea, or diarrhea, there's a 10 to 25 percent chance that it's going to be norovirus. Right now, this highly contagious virus is on the rise across the U.S. The CDC recently reporting 91 norovirus outbreaks in the week of December 5th alone, more than double the number from the same week in the past three years. But what's happening here? Patrick Soto, territorial epidemiologist with the Guam Department of Public Health, says local health officials monitor norovirus through cases of acute gastroenteritis, since the virus fits under the generalized syndrome. Uh, so there's nothing concerning, but despite me saying that, that doesn't undermine the need to take proactive measures again. So what can you do? The simplest and most effective step is washing your hands properly. That means scrubbing with soap and water for 20 seconds, about as long as it takes to sing the ABCs. This small effort makes a big difference as person-to-person -person contact accounts for 90 percent of the norovirus outbreak transmission mode. It usually starts off with contaminated food products. Uh, once it hits that human reservoir, once, once someone gets infected, um, it becomes very easy to spread, especially if we're not mindful of what we're doing um, in terms of uh, taking those precautions. Preca precaution. Following good hygiene practices can protect you and those most at risk, including young children under five, the elderly, and people with weakened immune systems. And don't forget, even after you start feeling better, you can still spread the virus for up to two weeks. And while there are no signs of concern now, public health officials are keeping a close watch. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Robert Leon Guerrero emphasizing the importance of staying ahead of the virus. Wash your hands well, and in this particular case, not, not so much the hand sanitizer, but just washing your hands well with soap and water, especially if you're going to uh, prepare a meal, especially if you're taking care of uh, uh, people at uh, child care or uh, senior citizen centers uh, and, and the hospital, too, to make sure you just practice good, sensible hand washing technique.